Here we are today at the fourth bridge. Now, I was going to make a facetious joke about the third one being down there or something, but they are in fact constructing a third fourth bridge. This one, the original, is over 2,500 metres long, has over 500 metres clearance above the water and carries over 200 trains a day, which isn't bad for something that's over 120 years old. A few more interesting facts for you about the bridge. It's pretty much an engineering marvel because at the time it was built, most significant structures were built out of raw iron, whereas this was steel. The Eiffel Tower, for example, which is kind of contemporary, was raw iron. This steel structure had 6.5 million rivets in it. it. Took over four and a half thousand people involved in the building, of which over 50, some say over 60, were killed in the process. And of course it takes permanent maintenance, so you've all heard that expression I expect, it takes as long as painting the fourth bridge, which famously I suppose is, is never completed, because by the time they've got to the far side painting it's time to start at the beginning again. That's not actually true, but there is a permanent maintenance crew for the bridge. Unlike its brother next door, this isn't a suspension bridge, it's what's called a cantilever bridge because suspension technology was not up to supporting that amount of weight for that enormous span at the time it was built. So from 1890s technology, we move across now to 1960s technology. This of course is the fourth road bridge. It carries four lanes of traffic, has two cycle pedestrian ways, and if you just look beyond it, you can just about see the pillars where they're constructing the third fourth bridge. Uh, and that's supposed to be open in 2015.